<laughs> they are, oh yeah. You, you here come these dumb motherfuckers right now. Oh yeah. And, and they're all bunched up together. Oh, oh, this is gonna be sweet, guys. I mean, and it didn't help that your boy, what do you call him, Brown Man? <laughs> oh, he's an actor in Brown Face. He's a yeah, yeah, guy yeah, in Brown yeah, yeah. Brown, it didn't help that Brown Face when I there yelling. Nothing to the long grass. He might as well just yell, Dinner time! Ding, 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 ding. ding. Time for ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> time for ding, ding. <laughs> Don't go where you're going! <laughs> Don't go where we are! <laughs> uh, Jurassic Park, the franchise, the series, it has come a long way. You know, they start out on that little island over there. Mm -hmm. yep. Now the dinosaurs are vacationing in Italy. <laughs> Time. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, let, boy, they're having a good time. Oh, man. Uh, there, there's nothing bad that can happen to somebody on a scooter no. that won't make me laugh. No. <laughs> you know, that's what you deserve for being on a scooter right there. You look stupid anyway. That dinosaur did you a favor. There's dinosaurs in the world. Why are you just casually yeah. walking and riding around? So we're going to take it back to its roots right here. You know, to see where it all began and where it all started to go downhill, some people say. Hmm. Or some people say, you know what? That's not true. That is not true. A lot of people, they sit out there and they talk about Jurassic Park, the lost world. A lot of people went in with a lot of expectations. And when they came out, they said, well, you know what? That was stupid. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea. Some people say that movie was the worst idea. But then some people say, why is everybody talking about this movie like it was something bad? Actually, I don't know what people wanted. I went to see it. It had everything I was looking for. It had dinosaurs eating people. It had a lot of action. It had a great pace to it. I mean, what, the, what do people want? I was actually talking about doing this as a bad movie roast, and people jumped my ass for this. They said, look. Hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah. They said, listen, you know, we're not saying it's great, but, but bad? Really? Come on, man. A lot of fun memories of this movie for a lot of people out there. Now, I understand because I myself have a love-hate relationship with this film. When I saw it, I don't know if I exactly loved it, but I did think, like, man, I had fun. I went to go see it twice. I saw it at a screening, and then I went, think, went either to another screening or took a girl out to see it or something. But I had think, like, oh, man, it's, again, like those people said, I got what I want. I just, I love dinosaurs so much. I love seeing people get eaten by dinosaurs. I got what I wanted. Years later, I watched it, and I was like, God, man, what the hell was I thinking, man? <laughs> I've only heard you talk about this in a negative light. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. in my, no, recently, now, you know, uh, that, well, that's why I want to do a bad movie roast, because I remember this not being a very good movie. I, th I said, you know, after further thought and going deeper on this, yeah, this was bad, that was dumb. Spielberg, his heart wasn't in it all the way. He was trying to do two different movies sure. at the same time. Amistad was what he was working on at the same time as this film right here. So even he wasn't 100% into this. Ian Malcolm, played by Jeff Goldblum, is back. Not that he wants to be. You know, he's been out there telling the world. Been out there telling the world, like, look. There's dinosaurs, y'all. This crazy man brought him back and almost killed me and these people that I was with. And this fool is not doing anything about it. And people are trying to cover it up. I'm not the crazy one. But turns out that the world will soon, the whole world will know that he's not crazy because as with all things that people see as eventually profitable, the corporations are trying to come in right now. Turns out that there was another island with all these dinosaurs on there before they brought them to the Jurassic Park that we know. That's still money. <laughs> that's, yeah, pretty that's, much. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's still profit to be made over there. This old crazy man can't handle his business, then we'll do it for him. But you got two conflicting things going on between what John Hammond wants and what the corporations want and what old Ian Malcolm wants, which is to wipe that island out or stay away yeah, yeah. and have nothing else to do with it. Mm -hmm. In other words, the sensible ones. Yes, yes. <laughs> common sense. It's common it, sense. It is frustrating to watch this movie and him be the only voice of reason. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 I mean, it is almost like and it, 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 he's so good in this. I'll get into it in a little bit because Jeff Goldblum is so good in this because he's the only one making sense. He's the only yeah, one making yeah, sense. Yeah. And just the way people are belligerent about blowing him off. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm not scared of these things. 
<laughs> you looked scared a minute ago. <laughs> Moving into the film, outside of that, uh, I tell you, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about, you know, this whole thing between people saying this movie is bad, these people over here saying this movie's good. You know, I, I think it's fair to sit back and kind of look at the movie. What, what did they get right? What did they not get right? And sort of make an honest evaluation from that. You know, I saw it today and I made some conclusions about this. I, and I was fair. I said, you know what? Uh, I'm going to sit up here and give them really high marks for the things that they do well. And then when it's bad right here, uh, I will definitely say so. And then we'll see what outweighs the other. I tell you, one of the things they did right, I believe. Mm -hmm. And this is from me being a Jurassic Park nerd in a way, you know. I, I think they finally showed John Hammond as they showed John Hammond as a crazy person. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here to tuck me in? <laughs> John Hammond, this this whole thing of trying to bring these dinosaurs back was a bad idea in the first place, and yep. it was insane. Mm -hmm. And he had all these these fail safes in place, and. Ian Malcolm told him, bitch, where, 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 you know, life will find a way. Mm -hmm. And they thought that they had a, a, a fail-safe system put in where these dinosaurs, if they didn't get some sort of chemical Enzyme. enzymes, yeah. Yeah, if they didn't get some sort of enzyme after seven days, then they just dropped dead. And them dinosaurs. That. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, now we yeah. dealt with that one time ago. It took a meteor to kill us. Yeah. You think this is gonna yeah. work? I, I love that they dropped dead in, five, in seven days. It, it, it took the dinosaur what ten minutes to go. Like, nah, nah. We, 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 we gotta work around. Yeah, we yeah. figured a way around that. It's, it's, uh, it's frog we were, DNA. Yeah. It's frog yeah. DNA. It's you very we were all chicks too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, we got, yeah, we chicks oh, ain't got dicks, man. Right? <laughs> shit, we got a whole whiteboard over. Here. We worked this out. What you talking about? We're running shit. Oh. Yeah, man, we're gonna we gotta live your ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, a license. That's what it was, license. Uh, and so, you know, after what they've been through, John Hammond himself almost, almost dying. You think that he would be a little concerned that these, these dinosaurs found a way to to hack the system. <laughs> <laughs> but stupid. <laughs> to say that made me sad. <laughs> no, but you think he'd be a little concerned about that? No, hey, no. Uh, I mean that they're still alive. But by God, they're flourishing. <laughs> they learned. That's, that's, that's not so, good. That's so happy. He's so happy. He's yeah. so happy. Hey, yeah. Yeah. thing. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> no. These dangerous animals that should not exist and kill people, they're still living and can get out of control. I know, right? It's <laughs> Spared no expense. <laughs> we did an amazing job. Better than what we thought we did. <laughs> ain't learned a thing. Oh, Lord. And still ain't learned a thing right down to still sending people to that island. Yeah. To, to, yeah. <laughs> still sending people to that island to die, man. You know, peop, not sending people there with guns. You know, not sending yeah. people there with weapons. Not sending people there who have... You know, who have uh, uh, experience with tracking and hunting and all that kind of stuff. No, he's sending people there with cameras. <laughs> cameras, mm -hmm. cameras and phones and satellites. I organized an expedition to go in. Thank you. The animals won't even know they're there. He's like when they smell them yeah, and know. get hungry, oh, but they'll know they're there. <laughs> Shit, these people so much as fart. <laughs> these dinosaurs <laughs> gonna know that they're there. Ooh, what's that delicious uh. sweat? <laughs> Yeah, man, and 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 Ian's reactions are, are Jeff Goldblum is great with yeah. his reactions. He is. Yeah. Now I will tell you this: just Jeff Goldblum, I'm so glad they brought they brought him back. He's brilliant in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like he's like you, he, he really is selling you that this is a terrible idea, yeah. and everything that this crazy ass is doing <laughs> is insane. His reactions, um, it's in not this, overblown. Mm -mm. It's just yeah. intense and just so like. What is happening? Please tell me you're not doing it's this. It's frustration. It's frustration. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's I frustration. thought we were past this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the end of the last movie, he says, yeah, I made a mistake. He yeah. literally says that. He like, says, yeah. But uh, Dr. Grant says, I've decided not to endorse your park. He says, so have I. So have I. Yeah. And then, I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The problem was the fences. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 girls. Bitch, I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> a man can change. <laughs> I just forgot how cool dinosaurs are. Right? It's like, like, like looking at somebody going, oh, you've been crazy this whole time. Yeah. He's been, yes, he's yeah. been crazy oh this whole God. time, man. And I thought you were just a kindly old man. No, but no he's insane. <laughs> yeah. and, Ian, and Ian is just, his reactions is like, wow, I'm just realizing how crazy this is. Don't worry, I'm not making the same mistakes again. No, you're making... 
You're making all new ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like a parent with a child, just like, oh, honey, no. Oh, no. Jesus, mm-hmm. man, what is going on with you? <laughs> Grandpa, no. <laughs> like, this is why they should have never given you niggas money. <laughs> He's trying to send. He's trying to send Ian back over there. The last right, guy that wants to go. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you right yeah. now, this is the worst idea. I would never go back <laughs> over there. You shouldn't send anybody. I know, but you're gonna get on the plane though, right? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, but you'll have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's smiling. <laughs> you say that now. He said, wait till you're there. He's, 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 he saw this man. All, he saw this man's leg get broken. Yeah. Yeah. He saw this yeah. man almost get eaten by a T-Rex. He's like, oh, you get on back over there. You'll have fun. <laughs> Just like old times. Uh, paleontologist. And I was hoping that perhaps you might be the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the f? <laughs> he's smiling. I was like, you know, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You've been huffing paint in that bed all day. What the hell? He's not even trying to sell this the right way. Because somebody no, no. be like, hey, look, man, I know what happened, man. I'm so sorry about that, but I need you, brother. I need you to go back. But he's, like, he's like, hey, man, I bought a ticket already. Are you ready? Cheerio. Let's go. <laughs> You can see how crazy John Hammond is, man, because Ian tells him off. Yes. Ian turns around and tells him, like, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should, you, you need help. Ain't don't even phase Ian. You, and, and the thing, you should, the thing is, it's when, it's when Ian leaves the room and John Hammond is by himself that you really, be, you start to see how insane this guy is. It's not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation and it's leaving right now. Now, at this point, you think he'd be like, well, damn, he got me, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Sure told shame me. on me, sure told me, shame on me. Fuck. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was right. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> He's like, he yeah. yeah. like, two, three, four. four. <laughs> really just stop talking about ha got him because he knew what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, he, was doing. So manipulative. Yeah, he plays him. Mm-hmm. He, he has does. His, he has his girlfriend go there earlier. <laughs> no, that's no, that's exactly he's doing. what he's doing. He's like because he look at what he's like. He's like, damn, I can't believe all four of these people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are they dumb as hell? <laughs> I really only expected two. So. <laughs> you know, so the setup I didn't mind too much. I, I think. Jeff Goldblum is great. Uh, you know these these villains you don't like already. You know Hammond now is a nice a combination of crazy and also having a point. You know doing something that needs to be done. Uh, so you know my, I'll tell you my main problem was with the characters really when they came up. You yeah. know I didn't a lot of the supporting cast. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and not all of them. Not all of them. most of them. Most of the people that are you know the team that we see in the beginning that Hammond sends. They're they're cool, man. Because when they started introducing them, the, the the dialogue was pretty cool. Uh, their personalities were all right. The actors are great. Uh, the guy who plays Eddie, Eddie the Tech guy, yeah, Richard yeah. Schiff. I, I like him a lot. Richard yeah. Schiff, I like him a lot, man. And uh, you know, I like him because he's the only one. He's the one that can actually, well, besides old schmarmass British dude over there, he's the one that can actually kind of keep up with uh, Ian Malcolm's smart ass comments. Ow, 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 ow. Don't do that, don't do that. You gotta baby it a little bit. You gotta love it. I'll love it when it works. It'll work when you love it. Let me do it. <laughs> God, you're not ready breaking shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> and he has some good moments in the movie, too. He yeah, probably does. probably has the best moment in the film, and they do him dirty later. Oh, right? they do. He's the they MVP do. of their squad. He is. He is. He's the most no, he competent is. person there by far. Mm-hmm. He is. <laughs> Until he got into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get into that in a little bit, but yeah. Dinosaurs, yeah. man. Right? <laughs> uh, didn't so, that. <laughs> you know, we you got uh, you got Nick who is just Vince Vaughn being Vince Vaughn. When I was with Nightline, I was in Rwanda, Chechnya, all over Bosnia. Thanks, dude. Greenpeace, uh, what drew you there? Women. Yeah, the hell with green piece, piece of ass. Bro. <laughs> That's Vince Vaughn just being Vince Vaughn. Yeah, wedding and, crashers from the yeah, lost world. Yeah. <laughs> and recruitment for Greenpeace Sick. went way up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody must have told me that was a fine ass dinosaur on that ice. Yeah. Do you see thighs on these dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> Thick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i tell you the. Okay, so the character I did not like. I'm loving everybody right now. Mm. All the characters I enjoy. Uh, the characters that they introduce I enjoy right now. The one where it started to go downhill 
Julian Moore, man. Yeah. That's yeah. Dr. Yeah. Sarah Dr. Sarah Harding. Uh I let it I let us slide a little bit at first. You know, because uh you know, first of all, it's convenient that she's Ian Malcolm's girlfriend. Well, it there. just seemed that Hammond did that on purpose. Like, oh yeah, said, like, this this is how I will get you there. Yeah. Well, he's, he said that she actually requested to show up. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you the other thing is that if look, we remember the first movie, Jeff Goldblum, he did everything that came across. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 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 he did. Yeah, he, and you have to assume that they met <laughs> last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he mm-hmm. tried to sex up on those Velociraptors and they were cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 They're communicating. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, Sam, Sam Neill because he was yeah. like, "Oh, you two together?" Like, hell yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> At least he apologized. He's like, oh, he didn't. Shit. Yeah, he didn't no, apologize. He did. I thought she was just way out of your league. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is an insult to just yeah, begin with. Yeah, like, oh, you and her. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, that really was. Yeah, yeah man. Wow. Really? Yeah. Not a cool guy like me. I mean, okay, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Well, standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. give me time, man. <laughs> he was a likable sleaze ball. He was. Yes. Yes, he he was. was. No, he was. Chaos so he, theory. you know, it's no, there's no surprise that he might be hitting up on this chick too, and yeah. hey, you know, she's there. But you know, I even let that slide, man. Uh, but when we finally saw her, she was getting on my nerves instantly. Instantly. Uh, yeah. Right away. Yeah. And I tell you, yeah. I did. I did at first. I said, "Let me let, let me stop being mean and let me just kind of sit back." Because I when when I watch this again, I said, "Well, shit, maybe she's on the spectrum." <laughs> Those animals just walked by. Did you see them? And trample. The hatchlings definitely stay in the birth environment for an extended period of time. Yeah, like, what the hell is wrong with you? I mean, I get that. Like, this is her life's work. They say that she she you know she sees herself yeah. as being the the uh, Diane Fossey of dinosaurs. At the same time, they've been together any amount of time. Mm. She knows what he's been through. I'm yeah. just saying, the way, when I talk like that, I used to talk like that when I was six. When I come on and tell my parents about about my day. And today, the they gave us cookies and milk in class, and they let us out early, and they let us do arts and crafts, and then we rode the bus, and the bus driver was cool with me this time. He didn't tell me to get the f***ing sucking on his You know, he's just like, I talked like that when I was a kid, man. And trample, the hatchlings definitely stay in the birth environment for an extended period of time. That's conclusive. I can put that controversy to rest. He's like, why hasn't a dinosaur eaten you yet? <laughs> so loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I need to re- rethink this relationship. Yeah, he is not listening to a word she's saying. He's like, right why now. the hell did I come out here to save you? <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, after, now here comes, you know, the idiots already being imp- introduced. Of course, right after that, we get the kid. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not my kid? No. <laughs> Who's black girl is this? <laughs> I guess she's adopted. I guess, I mean, they, they, they don't say. Yeah. And, the, and, and I, at first I thought they, wow, no acknowledgement, but there's a line where Vince Vaughn's like, you see a resemblance here? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, somebody <laughs> said something. I think That's all I need. It's in the 90s when adopting black kids started to become popular, so sure. they made him adopt a black kid because it, it didn't sound like he... It was the step, like he, like he went out with the mom or married her or something, because it was. She's like dad, 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 like, you know, you know I, like really close, more than a stepdad would be. You know, right, in right. the original film, he mentions he's been married several times. Yeah, so okay. the mother probably is. Probably, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. She even has a line that's it's pretty cutting, where she's like, "Yeah, you like having kids, you just don't like being around." Them. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you <laughs> go like stuff. Yeah, he's a lot of stuff. That he's like, all right. <laughs> And I, but so besides the first movie, because those kids didn't bother me in the first movie. I thought they were pretty I like smart. Those kids. I like those kids a lot. They're too. competent. That's I the reason why I like them. When, when that little boy got shocked, I laughed out I loud. Laughed, man. Oh, that's <laughs> funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I, when he was like, zooming back, <laughs> looking like Einstein and shit. <laughs> so like, yeah. Oh yeah. I laughed my ass off at that. But uh, you know, those kids didn't bother me. Uh, but after that first movie, yeah, these kids start to bother me because they're yeah. stupid, yeah. Uh, they're whiny, they're annoying, they do all the wrong things. And why is your ass there in the first place? Mm-hmm. The kids in the first movie, they, like, they build a purpose in the story. Yes. It seems like every other movie, they just put kids in there because it's Jurassic Park. Well, they yeah. put yeah. kids in there kids because now. they yeah. want kids to relate. Yeah. At least make them a little smarter. But I was going to be cool here. I was going to be cool about them bringing kids in because, because, because I thought... Maybe, and this is how long it's been, it's been since I've seen the movie, I thought maybe I had just missed this I and mean, didn't make a big deal about it, but I thought that they had killed, the, uh, uh, I thought they killed a little girl. Oh, at yeah. the, uh, oh no, no, me too. I, yeah, yeah, I thought, I, I thought they killed this little girl at the beginning of the movie. 
like, yeah, bitch, you in the wrong neighborhood. I, I, honestly, I had that happen to me with seagulls. <laughs> I'm Galveston. <laughs> feed a couple of them. They and descend like, upon you. Yeah, then an army of them just descended on me. And yeah. I end up throwing the, the, the stuff and running Come off the there. pier. I mean, seagulls and dinosaurs. Yeah, I mean, that is, yeah, that is what they it. became. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're just... They're just a little greedy velociraptors. Yeah. <laughs> beach beach raptors. Yeah. Mine, 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 mine. Yeah. But but um shit, the way that the way that that mom react, oh, that yeah. mom reacted when she ran up, I thought they got her little ass. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, yeah, no. Jeff Goldblum like, yeah, I seen this shit before. Yeah. Ain't nothing. Weird, weird transition. I tried to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be all right. But uh, but the, yeah, but see that's what what I, like I was thinking. Why did I not say something about that? Or why wasn't I more excited about that back in the day? Because of course they're not gonna kill no little kids in this. A British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. That bitch is all right. <laughs> he like he yeah. he looked like for a second. It looked like he was actually concerned. Yeah, yeah. For he, just a second. He's lying. That yeah, little girl died. Lying. I think he's lying. Does <laughs> <laughs> he know? She's either dead or yeah. she's, oh, she's totally she, fine. She's either dead or horribly <laughs> maimed. A few few nips. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. I, now, I don't think that's what, what was meant in the movie, but I'm going with yours. Oh, I like it. I like, yeah. I like, I like our that. version. Yeah. Because he did blow it off like, oh, she's all right. She's oh, all right. Just, especially considering what happens later in the film. You're like, hey, that girl didn't survive. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, that girl did not survive. Hell no. Or she did. Her quality of life is severely oh, yeah. <laughs> horrible. Oh, she's horrible. that fast. I don't know. Because mm-hmm. when they came over there, I think they found a, a, a skeleton wearing a dress. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. But he, he, he did blow it all. Like, oh, we, we paid the family. It's fine. It's fine. A British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. And there, we girl was injured. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Let's talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> she's not dead. That's what the is for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or there was this other British family. Go, that girl is dead. <laughs> <laughs> the writing for these kids has always been terrible. Like I said, they're dumb. They're whiny. They're always doing something stupid for, for no reason. They're always in trouble. Or they're on an island, which they have no business being on in the first place. Who started a fire? I just wanted to make dinner. Out here don't, on this don't island. Act casual about that. Yeah, <laughs> casual. So, yeah. So this whole trip to Dinosaur Island, no one noticed that there was a little black girl hanging out, just chilling. Mm. <laughs> and don't give me no bullshit about how she hid in a box for a few days or anything like that. I don't want to hear that. I know. I, where, where did they start off? Or did they start off in, in San Diego? Yeah, I think so. And all the way to Costa Rica? And went all the way to Costa Rica? Yeah, that's not a quick flight. No. I don't even think I think they took a boat they took a boat yeah. so they would have to I guess go through the Panama Canal to get through I think that's the yeah. only way geography so I'm like hear that shit man <laughs> like you hear it the whole time and it's now, a long trip yeah it's a long trip for nobody to notice there's a little girl on this island it's one of the main reasons why people say this movie's bad yeah because yeah. 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 shit like this happens a lot yes it does <laughs> that's, that's true well I know when I originally saw it I hated this and, and hated yeah. her for doing it watching it again I was like yeah, but she felt instant regret. No, <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, oh. Okay, then I, now this works. This works. Yeah, she's out here. She's out here starting fires, about to kill everybody in the most dangerous jungle ever. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of being like, oh, dinosaurs are cool, man, it's chicken yeah. down. You're like, I want to go home. No, no. <laughs> like, dinosaurs are like, what, what, yeah, what, what they do? Yeah, that's what your ass gets. Ah, I like dark meat. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's more tender. Yeah. Because yeah. I pulled this clip up. You know, her little ass tried to be sneaky. And then she, and then she gets out there and she realized just what a stupid ass mistake she made. Can you hear me? Dad, I got to get out of here, please. I want to get out of here. I want to go someplace safe. No, 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 I want to go someplace else. No, shut your ass up. You want to go? You here now? Yeah, deal with it. But I gotta give it to her. She has a logical reaction to what's going on, mm-hmm. as, a, as opposed to everybody else. Oh, she does. Mm-hmm. But no matter, I tell you what. The only thing that I can say about these kids, no matter how much I can't stand them, and I can't stand these kids in here, the adults are always dumber, <laughs> way dumber. <laughs> yeah. If you just here to watch stupid ass grown ass man get eaten then you are in the right place. <laughs> when those corporate mercenaries finally arrive, they, they are, and they, they, they roll up at, like they badasses, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The it's moment cool. they done, Like it's Predator. Like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting sexual tyrants. Yeah. These dinosaurs ain't shit. They start doing dumb shit, like riding through their legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get this X 
game shit out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Didn't have to do that at all. No, no, no. Not, not at all. It just goes to show how stupid you are. Like, that dude's gonna die. Yep. Mm-hmm. Disrespectful. Oh, yeah. He's gonna be one of the <laughs> first to die. Mm-hmm. This whole badass image they're trying to have, that shit don't last five minutes. Five minutes. When it lowers its head, its neck lines up directly with its backbone, which is perfect for absorbing impact. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> absorb that, bitch. That guy's dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His, sp- his spine is broken. His, his chest cavity just collapsed yeah. on itself. I've and seen he's cars hit other cars that have done less damage than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they show up, and, and they're supposed to be the ultimate badasses, and you can see, they show you just why the dinosaurs will outlive us. <laughs> like, let go. Yeah. <laughs> they just got out there. And already looking stupid as hell. Once they, once they bring this guy, he's supposed to be the one with the, with the most common sense, the yeah. most experience. When he comes out there, his ego is going to ruin everything. My fee, you can keep it. All I want in exchange for my services is the right to hunt one of the Tyrannosaurs. How and why are my business. Now, if you don't like either of those two conditions, you're on your own. He runs into a dinosaur. Excuse me? (laughs) You hunting what? I'll give you such a pinch. (laughs) These idiots out here. Like, like he's supposed to have the most experience, but again, his ego is getting everybody in trouble. And what does he do? Leads he (laughs) again. The first thing he does out there is piss off the biggest carnivore, the T Rex, by going out there and breaking his baby's legs and putting it in slave chains. Trick is. He's tweaking too. Look at the <laughs> trick. <laughs> uh, which I thought was a sad scene. I know these T Rexes are relentless, but I thought, oh, you ain't got to do them like that. The trick is to get him to come where we want him. You're like, man, come on, y'all. <laughs> Shit, it's even dirty for me, y'all. Man, come on. <laughs> You know, they, 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 they get out there and they capture all these dinosaurs, talking about we're going to conquer these dinosaurs. They can't even keep them in cages for two hours, man. The moment, because the moment they take those dinosaurs back to camp, Jeff Goldblum and friends, they follow them over there. They can't even cover their tracks. They follow them over there and just start letting them out again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And what do you think happens? You think, you think those dinosaurs, like, they... They run off free into the yeah. jungle. They're like, hell no, nah, bitch, we want payback. <laughs> I like the way that one dude just standing there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but look at, man, look at the beginning of this. This scene is hilarious because look, look at this cameraman right here. Oh, yeah. He knocked his ass into the sky. They pulled too soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't even hit him. <laughs> and it's all happening because that crew ain't no good. Crew is just lousy. Well, Vince Vaughn is able to slip in amongst them yes. yeah. just by being an average looking white dude and camouflage like yeah. the rest of them. We yeah. are masters of stealth, as <laughs> yeah. you know. You are. You are. <laughs> it's worth noting that Vince Vaughn is responsible for everyone's death in this movie. He is. <laughs> He's right. V- Vince Vaughn technically is the villain of this Yeah. yeah. Let them all shit. out and shit. <laughs> but it don't help that this crew that they got ain't no good. Because yeah. you oh, can no. Look, you can look right here like they've been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all these dinosaurs. Uh, your boy, uh, what's his name? Peter Stormar. Peter Stormar. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's set up there trying to. Uh, he was told to protect a T Rex. And so what does he do? He gets drunk. I yeah. know. <laughs> you ain't got to stand him up. He's so drunk. <laughs> he ain't heard a word they yeah. said. He's still drunk. He, Where am I? <laughs> he had that, that dead eye look in every movie he was in back in the 90s. Yeah, he did. He should have did. Fargo. Just, yeah, just Everything. a big Swedish. Yeah. Lunk. Shit, he, th- <laughs> yeah. he thinks they went camping. He don't know the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs? Yeah. What? Oh, Where are we? Shit. Uh-huh. Gertz had me laughing when he picked a boy like, uh, right. get off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, that's the drunk. Yeah, get that's the drunk. I don't need any help. Mm-hmm. I can drive. <laughs> get off me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's like, all right, man, you, you're on your own. Yeah, I ain't gonna get. I'm not paying to babysit your stupid ass. 
Y'all saw I'm packing those dinosaurs up in cages. I'm going to send them back to San Diego. Ooh, that's some expensive postage, man. <laughs> Do that, man. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a long way. And that's some heavyweight, man. I would recommend those guys just like you. <laughs> I'd recommend you get stamps.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is with stamps.com, man. I've used stamps.com, used it back in the day. It makes mailing and shipping not only quick and convenient and easy, but it makes it cost effective too. I mean, just imagine being able to do all your postage at, 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 at your home using your computer, even your phone right here, man. And it's uh, very easy the way that they do it. Again, like I said, first of all, just go to stamps.com. S-T-A-M-P-S dot com. And when you do so, as I said, you'll be able to do things like do all your postage right from your computer, all your shipping services right from your computer. And here's the big thing with this. You're going to get discounts that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, up to 30% off on USPS rate, United States Postal Service. And now everybody using UPS. You can get up to 86% off what? on discounts. Wow. But UPS, using stamps.com. They've been useful to businesses, been a prime part of businesses for, for, for millions of businesses out there. Millions of businesses, people. As I said, when I first started doing, you know, we got an anniversary coming up here. Uh, Double Toaster will be eight years old in July. And uh, we were using this in the beginning for a few things. I still have a stamps.com account. Uh, I should really get my wife using it because she still mail stuff and you know she does it with envelopes and everything so I can get her to print out a postage ahead of time and do everything easily but really though it's so easy that you don't need any supplies or real equipment other than your computer to do everything hey are you running a business online such as Etsy and eBay Shopify Amazon a lot of people are you know we talked about that on the show how many creative people we have who are using that right now uh, you know, if you're shipping your products out there, you're doing fulfillment, this is a, you, you really do need this. I'm being serious about that. If you're doing fulfillment, this would definitely make your life easier. And we're going to get you started by getting you a special that includes a four-week trial, some free postage, and a digital scale. And all that with no commitments or contracts at all. How are you going to do that? Well, I'll tell you. You go over to stamps.com, S T A M P S dot com and use the promo code toasted. If you're on the main page, there's a microphone at the top of the page, and that's where you're gonna enter toasted. Again, use that to get a four-week free trial, get some postage, free postage, and a digital scale. I want to thank stamps.com for sponsoring this portion of the show. And as always, thanks to all of you out there for everything that you do for us. Greatly appreciate that. <clears throat> now, there's a lot. I've been making fun of this and talking about how I don't like the kids and whatnot. We've been laughing at some of the characters, talking about plot holes and all this kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of the characters are weak, I think. A lot of them, they're just for dinosaur fodder, <laughs> as people would say. Yeah, yeah. But when you actually start getting deep into the dinosaur stuff, I mean, that's what everybody's there to see. Uh, I, see what people, I, I, I see what people are saying, what they mean when they say, hey, look, this is not a great movie but with some great parts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it really has some awesome moments in here, man. Uh, I'll go back to what I said before. I think more than the first one, I think that this is more of a horror movie or introductory horror movie for oh, kids in the oh, first one. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. A, this one's a lot more gruesome. I mean, first off, it gets to the dinosaur action a lot quicker. Yeah. There's a lot more of it. Mm -hmm. And the deaths are, like I said, they, they're gruesome. Yeah. It, this one's actually... Disturbing. Cruel. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, cruel yeah. is a good word. Yeah. This is... Uh, I, would go as, I would even go as, as far as to say that this is a horror movie. Uh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. the first one was kind of an adventure film with mm -hmm. horror elements. This, is, this was a horror movie, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that. Uh, I think, because I think a lot of it is uh, when you get to the horror parts in here, are awesome, man. The Velociraptor scene was put together so well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were some parts part I could. There, there was some. Now, I'm talking about the Velociraptor scene in the field. Yes, yeah, yeah in the tall oh, grass. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay. That's that, great. Yeah. that shit is. It has a. That scene has a great setup. Not into the long grass. <laughs> 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 they are. Oh yeah. Dumb mother. These dumb mother. Oh, yeah. And, and they're all bunched up together. Oh, oh, this is going to be sweet, guys. I mean, and it didn't help that your boy, what do you call him, Brown Man? <laughs> well, he's an actor in Brown Man. He's yeah, a yeah, guy yeah, in Brown yeah. Man. It didn't help that brown face when I said yelling. 
Not into the long grass! He might as well just hear, Dinner time! Ding, 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 ding. Time for ding, ding. <laughs> time for ding, ding. <laughs> Don't go where you're going. <laughs> Don't go where we are. <laughs> Man, that shot that they got where, uh, like there's some cool stuff here. That overhead shot where you see the, the trails coming in oh, yeah. On, yeah. The, on the people. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> they have no idea. They're close to Ooh, it got close. They're they right have, on top of them. They have no idea. That's that's like the scene from Aliens where it's like the radar. Yeah. Like yeah. You see them easing I in on them. That. Yeah, nice yeah. And I tell you, I love the way. I love the way that the Velociraptors start taking people out. They start doing stealth attacks. <laughs> like, cause I picture them like when they put when they grab them, they like sleep. <laughs> sleep. Start choking them out. Yes. <laughs> sleep. It's all over. <laughs> if you were if you were black or brown, they make your ass look stupid with your death scene. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> Spielberg, Spielberg would make you look silly as hell if, if he kills you in this movie. He <laughs> 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 look like a Disney cartoon. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Over here looking like Mr. Brown from Tom Fair. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, right? laughs> They didn't make him look as stupid as this Mexican they got over here, boy. This you <laughs> want who falls on the ground? Yeah, what? Oh, this dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This oh, yeah. oh, this dude right here, yeah. boy. They they His don't make curb stops <laughs> by dinosaur. <laughs> Man, this dude right here is completely. Completely useless. All he does is sit around all day and just listen to Tejano on his headphones. No, he could, a dinosaur could be coming up right now. He wouldn't even hear it. It's it's funny how these movies, these uh, especially horror movies, or something like this, will have characters specifically do stupid things like wear uh, earphones and listen to music, <laughs> or be cruel at some point. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, it's yeah. all set up for you to, as the audience, go like, okay, here it comes. <laughs> yep. yep. Yes, it is. Yeah, man. Cause uh, you know, other than that, I don't. I really don't understand why he's there, other than to scream when the shit goes down. What's the early warning system? Man, I was about to say, I guess it's a good alarm yeah. system. That's his job. Yeah. Wakes up in the morning. Yeah. He's, like a, he's like a Mexican rooster. Yeah. He's like a rooster. <laughs> shit, Buck Brinks, get a Mexican. Yeah, like, man, Jose don't do shit. Why is he even here? Yeah, like, no, no, when shit goes down, yeah, yeah. he'll be the first one to let us know. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> He's probably screaming at all kind of things. <laughs> he just does that. It's, it's, a, it's a butterfly, dude. Yeah. <laughs> does he have a snooze button? <laughs> probably every night he woke up from, from nightmares like that. Night terrors. Night terrors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why he didn't wake up and like, this guy. <laughs> that's fine, bro. Go back to sleep. False alarm. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't get up and run or nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, of course, they have him. Since he's screaming like that, he's got to go out like a bitch. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> got jazz. Like <laughs> <laughs> you like jazz to you right now? <laughs> oh. Still with the foot. Yeah, he's stuck like, like a, yeah, a bubble like, gum. Like gum on the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I love I love when people think jazz heads is gonna stop them from getting hit or crushed. <laughs> the way he just left his ass behind too. Well, what else would you do? I know. Yeah. At that point, he's <laughs> it's like, yeah, you yeah, fall yeah. behind. Like, we're it. all running. He's there trying to reason with the T Rex and <laughs> beg for mercy. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> Look into your heart. <laughs> yeah, T-Rex even makes a noise like, no. Yeah. It goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't stop like, to wipe him yeah, off. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm sitting up here talking about how you're making black and brown people look bad, which he does. I mean, they, you know, they, look, he makes them look, as far as their faces, just look stupid. But I, you know, I can't really say nothing that much about it because the, the dumbest death was probably the white dude. The one, so there's a guy in here who's, who's based off of an actual archaeologist named, uh, uh, I believe, Jack Horner. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Backer. 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's based off an of actual guy. So, because I, I remember when I first saw the movie, I thought, oh well, this is who Sam Neill is actually based on mm. in the first movie. So I saw, I thought, okay, so this dude is gonna be a badass with this throughout this movie. No, he's the dumbest one out there. The snake got on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. Snake! So all these other dudes, they know how to run from the dinosaur. This dude don't. Shit, uh, T-Rex was like, ass. damn, delivery. Yeah, it's going to be that. Yeah, yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snake was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess shit, I'll like just wait here with my mouth open for Yeah, now. that <laughs> was Grubhub before Grubhub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my man Eddie, though. I love this guy. I'm, which is why I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, Eddie's death was sad. Yeah. Man, I'm that sorry. Was, that was mean spirited. I was like, this is weird. That was, man, because this dude... He had the he had the coolest death though. Oh, I yeah. mean, if you I mean if you just want to go by just the a death scene on itself, it looked badass. Uh, but also, you know, at least they let him go out with a little dignity because he was trying to he was trying to save. He somebody. saved him. No, he did. He save did save him. Yeah. 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 So they let him go out with like uh, with a little dignity, even though they did him real dirty in the end too. <laughs> Damn, they smacked him up, flipped him around, <laughs> yeah. ate him down. Well, Shut that up. whole thing where the gun gets caught on the net. You're oh, like, I, oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it. Shit is almost, because I look at the dinosaur over there, I was like, in a way, that's kind of like late in the tramp. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 and I wish that noodle was a man. <laughs> and the dog was she was singing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> the dino stuff on the on the most of it, not all of it, on the, on the island is strong. But uh, you know, it's suspenseful, it's scary. But Spielberg, he did direct some cool uh, action sequences. Uh, he did direct some uh, some good uh, you know set piece set piece uh, moments here. Um, you know, I lo- I, talking about Eddie trying to save uh, the rest of the crew, Ian Malcolm and Dr. Sarah and, and his, you know, uh, even Vince Vaughn, Nick, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they had, um, I mean, I love that scene. I remember this being my favorite scene from the movie when I saw it in theaters, when they fell on that glass. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, when Ju- Julian Moore fell on that glass, that is actually a really tense moment and well-directed. The sound, sound design. Yeah. design on that is 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 incredible. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's when you look at that scene. That's where the movie's on the top of his game, man. Stuff like that. Only part I found ridiculous. I mean, maybe it's just me. I, cause I was thinking, you know, how's that little? Cause they're they're over a cliff in two, not one, but two trailers. And Eddie oh. goes over that little car, tries to pull that back with that. Oh yeah, well, like the physics wise, one trailer would have pulled the other one off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Unless the one that was on land was a lot heavier. But that's mm. what I'm saying. How's he pulling that back with that little car? Because it's leaning now. Oh, yeah. Cars are using the Mercedes Benz. Oh. It, is, if it's so, that's why. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Mercedes Benz product placement in the Lost World. Oh, that's, that's, oh that's there you go. They even gave Jeff Goldblum one of those cars. Yeah. Oh. Now the Lost World is a commercial yeah. <laughs> so if that's the Mercedes, and they're just showing you, hey, I'm Mercedes, badass. Yeah. And he died for a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. What did you say? Gave Jeff Goldblum one of those? Uh, yeah. Wow. A Mercedes, yeah. You know, other times the movie got silly was when they were the foreshadowing in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the, like, the action's great, man, <clears throat> but sometimes they, they mess up the action by just trying to foreshadow stuff too much. And the more they foreshadow the stuff, the silly it looks, because it really ain't that big a deal. Like, y'all know what's coming up. Yeah, but anyway, you got your own stuff. You got your, your uh, gymnastics competition. You've been training for that for months. I wonder why this movie just stopped for nothing to talk about gymnastics. For that dumb shit, yeah. right there. Mm. That that's the one of the most notorious scenes yeah, in the movie. It, it's like it, it really is. That that is a scene of like, wow, I could have lived my whole life without this. Here. <laughs> and they set it up like it was gonna be the most amazing thing in the film. I also feel like that was the turning point for the movie. Yeah. With, with everything I, I liked about it up and af, after that, it just started going downhill. Yeah. Steadily. No, it did. It became it, a cartoon at that yeah. point. Even before she hits him, she goes, you know, hey, and the Raptors like, 
Oh! Like that rapper's gonna pause. He's about to kill people. Like, well, what's, yeah. what's this going on? <laughs> both, both Jeff Goldblum and the rapper like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who? I was expecting the rapper to be like, Who this? Yeah, was that? Is that your daughter? Yeah. I, Wait a minute, y'all don't look alike. I don't see a family resemblance. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, explain this to me. I, I'm gonna eat you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't notice that because they both look over at the same time, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh. Man, you're right. It does get silly at this point. Like after that, I mean, that it turns into a comedy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, not that way. They should have <laughs> had Jim Goldblum close the door. <laughs> so this way, yeah, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, we're gonna do this. Let's do this. <laughs> it's three Stooges yeah. shit. That's what this turns after into. After you. <laughs> yeah, it's three Stooges yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's so many people going through glass yeah, like, like it's nothing. I know. <laughs> The most forced foreshadowing comes from uh, comes from your boy uh, again. What's his name? Uh, Peter Stormare. Peter Stormare. Oh, yeah. uh, it's Stamar. Uh, Peter Stormare. Oh, okay. Drunk guy. Yeah, <laughs> drunk. Yeah, drunk sweet. And the thing is, you knew he was gonna die first of all. Well, he, 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 was, he was being unnecessarily cruel. Well, he's a drunk, and he's just being an asshole yeah. for no reason. And we came here to watch. You came to strip mine the place. Back off. At least we came prepared. Ooh. <laughs> it's like he had a line. He was too drunk know. to say it. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. like today, you think that he's hitting on him. <laughs> yeah. Because today, today, that would take a whole... Because he just up on him for no reason. Today, that would take a whole different meter. Like, mm, look at you with your fine ass. Ooh, go on, girl. <laughs> Talk to you later. I think Peter was just messing with Vince Vaughn. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this in the movie. <laughs> Once you start messing with those dinosaurs... There haven't been any visitors to this island. There's no reason for it to fear man. Hey! <laughs> no, it does. Yeah, once, I mean, this is Jurassic Park, bitch. Once you start messing with those dinosaurs, that's when we knew. That's when we knew his ass was gonna die. Remember me, mother... <laughs> it's, I think it's the same yeah, one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I brought backup, by the yeah, way, Yeah, no, no, this time he brought his... <laughs> his family. He got, brought his got, boys got, got with him. boys with yeah, him. Yeah, 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 he brought his boys with him. Hey, that's that mother... <laughs> that shocked me, man. <laughs> him right there? Yeah, yeah, get his ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You want to shock somebody, bitch? <laughs> got your ass. Ooh, they tore his ass up. Yeah, that's a horrible oh, yeah. death. Oh, it put to the point. They let you... Thing is, they can't show you gore. Yeah. So they gave, but they gave you a hint just how it looks when they're gonna tear his ass apart. <laughs> yeah, that got some lip. That, that lip meat. Mm. Well, shit, yeah. he almost got away and then just didn't. I was like, all right, this this is the death that bothers me the most. Just <laughs> being torn apart by little creatures over and over. I know people talked about this in this room right here. Uh, that giving first aid to that baby T Rex, that was stupid. No, Master, please tell honey. Stay back. No, no, honey, no. <laughs> no, 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 don't do this, don't do this shit, not now, god damn it, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, no one and listens this to me, yeah. <laughs> but I would have done the same thing. I, I would have felt bad. I, I, I nah, know everybody. And we all be like, this is good to know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So if you're, on a, if you're on a dinosaur infested island with me, don't. Hey, we'd, just, we'd, be, we'd all be Jeff Goldblum like, Corey, no. No, what? <laughs> watch no. your head. Watch your head, Chris. No, no. Corey. <laughs> Corey, you're pulling a Julianne Moore right now. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> but we got to help it. <laughs> uh, Blam. <laughs> <laughs> we all said that. What you do? <laughs> Run. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> He's the one that did it. He killed your baby. <laughs> You too. <laughs> yeah, you eat all of us. Yeah. Majority of, of the movies, I think it's fun. It's got its it definitely has some uh, some questionable parts, some plot holes, some goofy parts, some downright bad parts. But man, like the first, I would say like the first hour and a half, I'm I'm cool with man. I was liking it m- much more than I thought I did. I did too. I actually like it, man. I like the first hour and a half. I actually like it a lot. Uh, like I said, I think it functions as it functions as the as probably uh, the world's most expensive B movie. Yeah, B horror. Yeah, I, I thought I thought that exactly. Yeah, I, I, I thought the movie overall was kind of poorly paced. I mean, yeah, we get these kind of good moments, 
but they're just layered between these scenes of these characters I just really dislike outside of Jeff Goldblum mm-hmm. and um, Eddie and everyone else I'm like I don't really care about no I didn't really care about yeah, anybody yeah. I mean like I said that's the thing but watching it just as a as a, as a, as a monster, monster movie, movie. Yeah. yeah I was having fun with that man I had a great time I think it's, it's, it's the last 30 minutes that are terrible <laughs> terrible yeah. yeah well I think this movie of all the Jurassic Park ones it's the one that feels the most like a theme park like, mm-hmm. yeah. because you're just like yeah. oh, cool set piece then you walk for 20 minutes uh, <laughs> to another cool set yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're the right. set pieces are cool. It's no. just like, uh, it's the stuff in between and the stuff around them that's kind of weak in my opinion. i tell you what kept me going in that. Uh, people like Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, he's watching, yeah, right, yeah. uh, uh, watching some of the actors that were like Pete Postaway. Uh, you Yo, know, I, li- I liked his character a lot because you're like, oh, the great white hunter. And yeah. at the end, he's like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, he, yeah. no, they didn't. He like, leaves you know the what? movie. <laughs> yeah, he leaves. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And he's sad because his little brown friend died. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> he didn't make it. Like his pet brown man yeah. died. He didn't yeah, make it. He realized what was more important in life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he had lost an arc. It. <laughs> well, yeah, he did, I guess. What I like about Pete Postaway, yeah, he's hit the id. He's like, what's his name? Haji. 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 Haji didn't make it. <laughs> the other dude's like, I don't give a f. You die for that. What are y'all f? What are you <laughs> he really does sound like I'm sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, just yeah. down to T Rex. That's badass. Yeah, that's cool, man. You just got through telling everybody when some when, when Eddie died. You told everybody, well, his problem's over. Well, guess what? Hodge's problem's over too. Get your bald ass and let's go. I thought they were gonna kill him because he was a villain. Right. Yeah. right and at the right. end, he just walks on out the movie, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. He hey, like, he was true to his word. I only care about shooting the T Rex. Mm-hmm. I'm done. I, 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 I shot a T Rex. I mean, it was a, with a tranquilizer. I did it. Yeah. I'm going go back and have bragging rights now. Vince Vaughn did try to get him killed like multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Vince Vaughn in this He's movie. a piece of shit. He's yeah. so yeah. unlikable in this. Like, so, he, yeah, so he, he, he was the one who took the he pulled he bullets. Out. Yeah. He took yeah. all yeah. the real bullets on the helicopter, yep. which yep. is his last scene, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't see him mm-hmm. after that. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. That's his, yeah he's out. He flew yeah. out. He's the one yeah. that got, like, and you find out John Hammond sent him there to sabotage oh, yeah. To sabotage right. the whole thing, yeah. So more blood on John Hammond's hands. Yeah. Oh, what a fun. You know what? No. Those dudes, man. Eddie, I feel bad for, but the rest of those guys, fuck them all. I, don't care. I mean, they're not good people. Yeah, they're not. No, no. no. This no. is what, when bad, when bad intentions meet incompetence, you get the lost guys. <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. No, all those other guys, I, I, I could care less about those other guys. Leave these dinosaurs alone. Yeah. Nothing's going to top Jurassic Park. So that's why I just took this and I said, all right, just take it as it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it is better than Jurassic Park on the same level, uh, that's amazing, which yeah, it never that, was. That, that, there's no that chance of that. That ain't happening at all. But... Uh, that last thirty minutes, man. That's where I. That's why I just didn't like the movie at all. It just because it seems like that's where, that's where uh, that became an afterthought for Spielberg. He's like, I directed most of this movie. It's done. As far as I'm concerned, it's finished. Yeah. I got to go work on Amistad. A lot of the stuff in the second you know, or last thirty minutes seems like second unit stuff. And, and it's mm. all full of references to other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like it's all like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, this is like Godzilla. Yeah. Godzilla. It's okay. a. Damn it. It's it's a comedy. Yes. So we had this horror movie before, that during the last you know maybe five minutes of the stuff on the island start to slip into a comedy. Spielberg ain't taking none of this shit seriously. These fools just standing here. Where, where are you guys the, going? The, you see, yeah, mm. it's exactly. <laughs> I, I do like that Jeff Goldblum is he's beyond trying to warn people anymore. Yeah. The well, thing, if you can't see a goddamn giant <laughs> yeah. ship coming, that's, that's bad, on you. That's bad direction, too. Just like, you should have your actors panicking. Yeah. yeah. It's no, not I consistent. Agree. There's no consistency. Yeah. But when that, okay, so when that boat crashes, man, this has been my problem with the movie, even when I thought I liked it. Mm. So it gets there, and they go into the boat, and everybody's. Everybody's torn apart. Doesn't make yeah. any sense. How? Except for this hand who was obviously attached to a guy who was very dedicated to his job. <laughs> Thing uh, from the Adams family. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That dude, shit, when he was separated from his hand, he was still working that boat right there. He's not the only one. There's another dude on this ship. Love his job, too. He's the one pressing the button. I know. Yeah. This dude releases the T-Rex. Uh, yeah. After after he's dead, even in death, he's still doing his job. So he presses that, and right after, so he presses that button, and right after the, the what does it do? It releases. <laughs> this is so stupid. So a dead man after the ship crashes on the on on, on the harbor, a dead man is still pressing the button, and is the one who. 
It didn't release at the time of death. It didn't release from the water. No, it conveniently released the T-Rex right when they hit San Diego. So, so many questions here. Who killed everybody on the ship yes. if the T-Rex was still in the cargo bay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, or if the T-Rex did it, how did he fit in that little ass room right there? And then did he just come, did he put himself back into the cargo bay? I read there were supposed to be velociraptors also on the boat, and they were supposed to be the ones that killed everybody. That would make sense. That would make right. sense. Right. And then Spielberg went, eh, well, let's not do that. Just make it the T-Rex. It's I ain't like, got time for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he was kind of winding down on yeah. the like, eh, don't, don't worry about it. But... Yeah, it's not even that that dead hand. It's just some other dumbass that goes like, "That's right." Oh, what does this button do? Oh. <laughs> it's like, I just I'm about to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and, and Spielberg did say that I was like, he was kind of distracted too, working on some of this shit. Like, he he was distracted working on Jurassic Park, yeah. but it was so it was so revolutionary that he was like he was into it but he was winding down kind of working on uh, Schindler's, List. Schindler's List he's yeah. like it was like taking me everything I had to muster energy to look at the clips and the dailies here I think he's just kind of like just yeah. Know, yeah this is gonna make money anyway he we thought that, yeah. he thought he could do it again when he did Jurassic Park 2 with uh, Amistad he just couldn't no he couldn't so no you're just yeah. missing things here yeah. Uh, somebody said the baby maybe crawled up in there and did all. No, get out of here. Yeah. That baby's got a big appetite. Yeah. <laughs> that baby's already in San Diego. Oh, it's true. That's right. yeah. That's true. That is right. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it's a huge plot hole. A huge one. Yeah, yeah. literally T Rex size, one might say. No yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you don't miss something like that. No. Yeah. <laughs> or you just don't give a shit. Yeah. 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 Just so you don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. At <laughs> least, at least when uh, the T Rex is let loose in San Diego, again, if you're just there to see him kill people and eat people where you get to see that unless they're kids which again doesn't make any sense because the T-Rex been chasing kids been breaking through walls he sees the little snack right here and don't do a damn thing So you just go, just gonna let him walk away. All right, just it's, casually walked away. Yeah. It's almost as if like there should be dialogue for the T Rex. Did you remember to brush your teeth? Yeah. It's like one of those. <laughs> well, it, even before you get there, Julianne Moore is like, oh, they they gave him this this chemical, so he's gonna be thirsty. He's looking for water. I was like, you were just at the dock. If it was yeah. really gonna search out water, yes. why would they just jump in the ocean? No, it's got to go to a chlorinated pool yeah. in the yeah. in the suburbs. But that dog, they did that dog. Eddie and that dog, they did dirty. Man, yeah. I feel bad with that dog. I know. Same. Man, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> he did, you know. He was barking at him. He was barking at the him. Dog started it. But I love the way that dog went in there. And that <laughs> this is funny. That T Rex said, "I don't care if you're in that house. I'll get you in that house." Yeah. <laughs> This your dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of okay. stuck between my teeth right now. I don't give a damn about you running out of that little ass house right there. That dog thought he was safe too. Mm-hmm. Expect that dog to shut the door. You hear some knocking and shit. Like he's knelling the door and shut. <laughs> I mean, the, the one I said, all right, you know what? I know you ain't taking anything seriously, but god damn, if you're going to do a joke, at least be more clever. Don't take no little shots like you're doing right here. Cheap shots. Yeah, yeah cheap ass shots right here, which everybody knows. Like, there's this. this People, even today, people are like, damn, shame on you, Spielberg. <laughs> now you know better than that. <laughs> Having the Japanese dudes running from I know, <laughs> I know. You're going to make Schindler's List and then turn around and do something and like do this. this. <laughs> and then I love the end of this, man. With John Hammond. John Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we're getting to the end of this because the computer's getting, I don't know why it's getting slow. Oh, I got to restart it. I, I don't know what's going on today. It's, it's actually runs pretty well. I must have an uh, uh, app open that I don't know. Uh, but um, yeah, John Hammond at the end comes at the, the dude who's responsible for all this <laughs> shit. I know. Yeah, yeah. Comes on at the end to give this, this, this nice message for the preservation and isolation. You should be in jail. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you should be. Uh, yeah, I, no, yeah regardless but, but of what you way do. He, he spins it is like, hey, I was trying to do the right thing, and the board of directors they came in and ruined that. Those we, guys. You cannot yeah. let them do this again. That's Those how we got assholes. to the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I did like this better than I thought I would when I was watching this. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think that I was going to like this. Cause I, man, I, you, Martin, you heard me talk about this. I, man, I would talk about this. Time, but I hate this movie. Talking yep. shit. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 all, I all the time. All the time. So that's, hey, just goes to show you, man, 
hey, you can change your mind anytime because I watched this and I was thinking, yeah, enjoyed it, man. I don't know, man. I, I'd probably go for a high rental, very low, very low matinee, but probably a high rental with this. I liked it. Now that I can compare this to <laughs> Jurassic World, <laughs> it's almost a masterpiece. Now, this one seems not so bad, except for the last 30 minutes. And even that last 30 minutes is not as bad as anything in the last two movies. So yeah, it, it, yeah, it's kind of a high rental. It's just, it just has all these these moments layered in with these really boring, unlikable characters. I'm like, well, you're just there to die. You're just meat. There's nothing to you. And so I'm like the first film where you had characters you like, and when something bad happened to them, it's like, ah, oh, shit. Even if they were a minor character, they had personality. Mm -hmm. Boring, and then it gets very dumb by the last 30 minutes where there are literal huge plot holes. So, I I mean, this might be the worst Jurassic Park. I mean, it's stiff competition. I mean, I have to give it, but it's not quite some old bullshit. I would give it like a low rental. This is like a textbook guilty pleasure movie for yeah. me. Because mm -hmm. it's fun to watch. It's not good, no. but there are things about it that are good. Yeah, and those moments, they happen frequent enough that I think it's a fun movie to watch with friends. I mean, yeah, if I were to give it a rating, to me, this is like a textbook like rental because like there, it's a movie you'll want to fast forward through. Positive rentals all around, except yeah. for maybe Chris. I think you, except old Fuddy. Yeah, that's no. right. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I will say the thing that Jurassic Park three has over this movie it's short. This movie is way too long. This is over two plus hours. Yeah, yeah, Ju yeah. yeah Jurassic Park three is real short. Hour, it is it's an hour thirty. It, it might is. be even less than that without the credits. Like hour twenty five. Mm, yeah. Really now we I remember us we talking about how short it was. What they should have done with this is stayed on the island and teased going to the mainland. That was the plan. Oh, it was? Yeah, that was, that was the plan. And then Spielberg realized he, did, he wasn't going to want to do another one because he wanted to save all that for San Diego for a, a third movie. And he was like, I, I, just, I don't have any to do a third movie. Just pass it up to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, he was just like, let's just, let's just do it all in this one.